Hello everybody. I am so excited. I'm going to be talking about the end of the year book tag. But I found the questions on this website here. So I'm just going to go through them on my phone. Is there a book that you started that you still need to finish by the end of the year? And yes, there is. And most definitely, it's going to be The Secret History by Donna Tart. Like, I have meant to have finished that one already, but unfortunately, I haven't. So, that book is, I don't know, it's like the slowest book to get through. It's like, it's taking so much for me to get through it. And this is the second, or I mean, autumn is kind of already passed already. It's like winter time because it's Christmas. But this is the second autumn attempt to not finish it. So I need to finish The Secret History by Donna Tartt as soon as possible. Do you have an autumnal book to transition to the end of the year? So for me, I really want to read the Poldark series by Winston Graham. I think, I don't know, I just love the series on PBS, um, the live action series. So. I really just want to read the books and get more into the story because I am planning a trip to go to Ireland and I've been really really into like the Irish heritage and well my heritage really because I'm Irish my great grandpa was Irish and came from Ireland and moved to Washington so I really just want to dive more into Irish and Ireland and all things combined so that's a series that I really want to get to at the end of this year but I don't really have much time and I have a lot to do for the rest of the year so I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it because I'm going on a trip to Disney starting tomorrow I'm going to Florida tomorrow and then after that I'm working on my book because I'm going to be taking a week off working on my book and then uh, I might potentially go on a trip to Ireland. I'm working on my visa um, and doing my YouTube channel. So I have a lot on my plate as for now, but we'll see if we can get around to that. Is there a release you are still waiting for? So earlier this year, my wait of a release was Yellow Face by RF Kuang. That was a big, big seller in the spring time. I didn't read it just because it didn't really poke my fancy. But let's see, is there any book that I'm looking forward to? Not really. I'm not really up to date. I don't read a lot of fantasy. Go to a bookstore, scope around the books, and if something just pokes out at me, I'm just gonna pick it up and read it. And that's just kind of how I find my new reads. Um... Oh, but I was also anticipating Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. That's already out, and I want to read that. That's the fifth book. Fifth, or is it the sixth book of the series? Something like that, but I really want to get my hands onto that. Name three books you want to read by the end of this year. So the first book I want to read is this lovely book. So I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday. And I found this lovely book on the shelf. I was originally looking for the Poldark series, but they didn't have it in stock. I was just looking down like around um, the area, and then I found this book on the shelf. This is Lilith by Nikki McMurray. Before Eve, there was Lilith. And this is such a coincidence because I'm actually researching and a lot of like creation of humankind and Adam and Eve and evil and the devil and angels and heaven and hell. So this is really crazy that this book jumped at me. Like I literally just saw it like reach out its hand <laughs> to me on the shelf. So I'm doing all this research for like an upcoming project that I'm working on, which you guys will find out. But this is going to be such an interesting book. Uh, I will read you the synopsis in the back. Before Eve, there was Lilith. Lilith and Adam are equal and happy in the Garden of Eden. Until Adam decides Lilith should submit to his will and lie beneath him, she refuses and is banished forever from paradise. Demonized and sidelined, Lilith watches in fury as God creates Eve, the woman who accepts her submission. But Lilith has a secret. She has already tasted the fruit of the tree of knowledge. 
Endowed with wisdom, she knows why Ashura, God's wife and equal, the queen of heaven, is missing. Lilith has a plan. She will rescue Eve from Ashura, restore balance to the world, and regain her and regain her rightful place in paradise. Lilith's quest for justice drives her throughout history, from the cigarettes of Agent Summer to the court of Israel's Queen Jezebel and to the side of a radical preacher in Roman Judea, Jezebel, Mary Madeline, Noah's wife, Norea, all play their part in Lilith's enlightenment. In the modern age, as she observes the catastrophic consequences of a world built on in inequality, inspired by ancient myths and suppressed scriptures, Lilith is a thought-provoking and ambitious novel with an evocative literary voice and triumphantly engaging heroine. Like, if this synopsis didn't encourage you to read this book, I don't know what. So this is. One of the books that I am planning to read for the remains of the year, so that's number one. The second one is Down the Drain by Julia Fox. The third one is The Dante Comedies by Mr. Dante himself. Is there a book that still shock you and become your favorite of the year? Um, there's really nothing that's been like an absolute shock to me this year. I've definitely tried a lot of different genres and different... Um, classics that I wouldn't have read before like Lolita by Nabokov was quite a shock in terms of kind of like the gross and then just like old man dating young girl not even a teenager she's like 12 not too many books have really shocked me like oh my god type of thing I feel like that factor really works into the fantasy genre and I like to read a lot of classics contemporary reads and poetry quite ironic that I picked up a fantasy book because I'm usually not into this genre but with the creation of humankind Adam and Eve I don't know it's just the concept that I am researching have you already started making reading plans for 2024 I absolutely have I don't really know what books exactly I'm going to read for next year but I'm super excited to surpass my goals because my goal for this year was to read 60 books I've only read 30, 38 out of 60 which is kind of bad so I definitely want to do more but I feel like I've done a really good job and it's not a competition this is not a race of seeing like who can read the most books in a year so I'm not gonna pressure myself and be like oh Kelsey you didn't read 60 books you're such a loser of a reader you're not like a true booktuber but I don't think it's all about numbers it's about quality not quantity and it's all about what value you are getting out of the book and I just like to sit with books for a while and reminisce and think about what I just read in before jumping into another book so yeah that's why I'm also a bit of a slow reader as well because I like to really consume and dwell on the books that I read so that I will remember them that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching today I love you all so much please like this video and subscribe so I can get more people to discover my channel a bientôt au revoir Mwah. Hello.